Once again, welcome to my channel. I'm Gillian Sargent, and today we're going to be talking about the top six cocktail bars in Boulder, Colorado. Now, as I've mentioned before, Boulder is one of my favorite places, and in this tiny town, we seem to have a plethora of great restaurants and places to drink and eat and hang out. So here goes. Before I'm a realtor practicing in Boulder and Denver, if you need any help with real estate, let me know. My information is below, my phone number and my email. Okay, today, happy spring. It's April 2023 and I've compiled a list of the best cocktails you can find in Boulder. Now, there are many restaurants as I talked about in previous uh, videos, but I really want to talk about just the cocktails, not necessarily cocktail bars, but the cocktails you can find inside those restaurants. You can sit at the bar, no problem. Coming in at number seven is the T Zero Bar, which is in, in the St. Julian Hotel in Boulder. Now that is our nicest hotel in Boulder, and hands down, it's just wonderful. We have views out the back of the Flatirons. It's fairly new, it's fairly modern contemporary. We have a wonderful spa there, but the bar is called T Zero. Now you can get drinks in there and then sit in the lounge and enjoy live music by the fire. It's just a great place, a wonderful vibe. And that's not a given with every hotel, but this hotel is kind of exceptional. Now T Zero has your traditional cocktails. It is a cocktail bar just off to the left of the lobby and it's got a nice kind of um, bar vibe it's dark and exclusive and bar tables are tall and a little room to the side with it's beautifully decorated and it's nice for private parties and you do have original cocktails uh, that they create at t-zero and your traditional cocktails and i've never been disappointed the staff are phenomenal service is great and i think there's actually a little bar menu you can get some snacks there and it's jill's restaurant right next door so the quality of the food is also fantastic so big thumbs up for number seven now coming in at number six is oak at 14th it's a restaurant i covered in my favorite restaurants in boulder and it's on 14th street and they do have a fantastic menu it's a farm to table restaurant and the vibe is really young and contemporary and just buzzing it's a great hive and they have a wonderful cocktail list really unusual but they're not too pretentious they're really exceptional drinks and they source locally some local gins and whiskies as we do uh, ferment here too. Um, so it's a great place to go. Now you have to sit at the bar really if you just want cocktails, you can have a table but you feel, you know, it's so busy, you really should be eating there if you're gonna take up table space. So I recommend the bar and the a absolutely fantastic vibe at the bar if you don't mind noise it's kind of loud it's very echoey and that's fine but as i age i i'm not a massive fan of the noise they do have wood-fired uh, menus so they have wood-fired pizzas and hanger steaks and things like that so it's a great menu too if you ever need, need a snack Coming in at number five is the Bramble and Hare. It's actually in the same restaurant as the Black Cat, which is a farm to table restaurant. And you can also eat at the Bramble and Hare right next door. They're actually adjoined. Um, but the Bramble and Hare is a little less formal, um, but they do have a fantastic cocktail menu. I think it's the same as the Black Cat. Now, they are out of this world. They're really unusual. I would say a little on the pretentious side, but I love that. One of my favorite cocktails there is called the Sage Advice. It's got a sage infused honey um, syrup with some lemon and some absinthe. So it's really unusual. And you can go, they go a little over the top with cocktails there and they're very, very complex, complex flavors, but really quite ingenious and I enjoy that. So you might like that if you're into really weird and wonderful things. Now coming up next is the Bitter Bar. That's a little bit further north of 9th and I think it's Walnut Street. Um, they're off uh, the main Pearl Street thoroughfare there and they're a little less expensive and it's not as classy as the other places I talked about, but it's more accessible. Um, they're kind of run of the mill. They're really great cocktails. They're open super late 
and it's just cocktails really and you can get beers there too but they're only snacks there's no food menu really very very small menu but the cocktails are great and it's a little more affordable and it's more accessible that's why i've got it down at number four um it's not pretentious at all but really really fun place to hang out coming in at number three is license number one now it's called that because it was actually the first um, hotel the bold dorado to receive a liquor license after the prohibition so it has that really historic a prohibition era speakeasy feel to it and in keeping with that it's in the basement of the Bull Dorado the historic hotel I think one of the oldest hotels in Boulder and it has that dark dingy divey feel that wonderful speakeasy feel and they do tend to stick with the traditional cocktails there are a few unusual things on there but it's not that pretentious cocktail place um, that I also love but this is more of a speakeasy feel and they are really really quality drinks nothing's watered down the bartenders are great there are, the food is actually great and they have live music too on some evenings of the week and uh, they had some jazz uh, last week I was there it was really really enjoyable coming in at number two is the kitchen upstairs now this was a really close and number two with the number one on my list because I actually love the atmosphere in kitchen upstairs a lot better that's my favorite little secret place to go it's up a tiny little staircase to the right of the kitchen restaurant which is a Kimball Musk restaurant he opened and um, the kitchen I think there are maybe five in the country but the kitchen upstairs is kind of exceptional they focus on the cocktails and they have you can eat a full menu up there too but as you see from the photos it's really cozy and cool and not everybody knows about the kitchen upstairs it's very very special to me there's a fireplace a real wood burning fireplace and it's really nice in the winter and the beautiful floor to ceiling windows are great it is um, a very um, traditional boulder style restaurant farm to table and they boast that their energy is sourced from wind exclusively wind energy and now and then Kimball Musk may pop in for a drink now coming in at number one is Japango now this is a sushi restaurant I've spoken about my favorite restaurants in Boulder but the cocktails really honestly are some of the best I've had in the world now I'm well traveled been all over the world London's one of my favorite spots but Japango it's really hard to beat their cocktails their list is phenomenal we knew personally the creator of these cocktails Stanley who no longer works there but he was just so gifted he was a true alchemist now I wouldn't say they were pretentious they're okay they are they're very very clever the way they infuse Japanese whiskies and traditional whiskies and gins and create their own tinctures and um, all these beautiful bitters that you see lined up across the bar they've made over weeks and weeks and weeks just infusing very unusual ingredients no one can match Japango and if you're a massive cocktail snob this is just hard to beat you can go in every time and try something new and love it so um, they're expensive they're pricey I'd say maybe $20 and up the most expensive cocktail I've had there was a while ago when I passed my uh, real estate exam I think it was about $75 uh, but I watched how they made it and what they made it with and it was worth every penny not gonna do that again soon but um, Japango can't beat it and the sushi is phenomenal there so um, highly recommend it it's on Pearl Street you've got the atmosphere you've got the vibe you've got jellyfish in a tank in the middle of the restaurant great place for celebrations it's romantic it's also family it's also a birthday party perfect and there's a really small patio I think they've extended it out into the middle of the pedestrianized section of Pearl Street great to go with the fam so that's it and if you need any help i'm jillian Sargent and boulder and denver practicing real estate so if you need any help let me know my contact information is below in the comments my phone number and email until the next time